What is up guys, it's Uebez from UU Gaming, and today I'm going to teach you guys my optimal settings for Sony Vegas Pro uh, 14, I'm using the 14th edition, and I'm just going to give you a big rundown on basically my settings and what I have set. Um, it's not perfect, so if there's something that you guys find that would be better in settings, um, please leave it down in the comments below. I'm in this journey. We're in this journey together. Uh, this journey to grow as a gaming YouTuber um, and such. So let's help each other out. Okay, so when you first open up Sony Vegas 7, you click File, New. And in this new project, this is how I have it set up. So I selected a HD 1080 60i right here and set the width to 9 1920 by 1080 field order I usually have this at none frame rates um, I type in my own value at 60 I find like this works best than choosing 59.94 um, pixel format I like using 32 bit video level if you use floating level, you get way more color, and it's kind of really weird for Overwatch. Um, full resolution rendering, make sure it is at best. Motion blur type, I left, I leave this at Gaussian. Um, Deinterlace method, I usually put this at, at none. Resample mode, this is really important. And when I first, it's, uh, when I first started using Sony Vegas 7 or Sony Vegas 14. I didn't know why my video was so blurry when I rendered the video out, and this is why. Basically, Sony Vegas puts everything into a sample, or like, basically, brief puts a filter on top of everything, and you definitely disable that. In audio mode, you want your bit rate or bit depth. I usually leave mine at 24, and I put this at best. And that's about it for this setting. Oh. Okay, so now that you have a video. To render it, you click um, render as, and now you're going to be dealing with these settings. Okay, so what I do for this is I'll look for magic concept right here, and I'll scroll down to internet 1080p, then click customize template, change the frame rates 60, field order none, variable frame rate. My uh, shadow play is recording at 50 megabits per second. So that's around 50,000 kilobits per second. So I'm going to set mine to um, 135. For the average, I'm going to set it to 50,000. 50 million, actually. 50 million. 135 million <laughs> bits per second. These settings work great for me. Two pass would also work really well. Um, right here for encode mode, I would definitely use CUDA if it's available to you. If you don't know whether or not it's available to you, just click system, ch click check GPU. CUDA is available right there. Okay, so now go to audio. In audio, 48,000 is pretty good. I'm going to leave mine at this um, setting. Project, last thing I do, video, video render quality. I change that to best. Click OK. Now, if you click render, it'll render the entire um, clip. If you click just render loop, it will just render whatever you have uh, highlighted. So, just render it out. It should take some time. Once you're done, you have your video. Thank you guys for watching this Uebez from UU Gaming. If you guys are interested in more Sony Vegas 14 tips, please subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna provide way more content on how to create a gaming channel, how to maintain a gaming channel, and how to grow a gaming channel. And I find that this, this series is really interesting to me and I'm really hopeful that it will help out other people to start making videos. But yeah, um, thank you guys a lot. If you guys want to check out a video that um, I rendered using these settings, I'm going to link that in the link below. I'm also going to link that in the end of this video. It is Uevez from UU Gaming. Peace out. Signing out. Uevez. I'm a guy. <laughs>